Nebraska. I think mm-hmm. what they've brought in uh, hasn't done enough to make this team better. Last year was a horrible performance in, in my eyes. Jeff Sims starting off the year as quarterback was atrocious. Then they then they move on to uh, Heinrich Harburg, if I got that correct, who was also atrocious. And then went to Chubba Purdy the end of the year off, and he got them close to winning a game against Iowa. That was part. That was the, the highlight of the year for them. It was a very big, it was a disappointing season for Matt, uh, Matt Rule and this team. Uh, they do sign Dylan Riola, the number one, or number two quarterback in the country, at its off two four seven Sports, uh, highly five star recruit, was a Georgia commit at one point. They, they flipped him from Georgia. Big everyone thought that was big to do. I'm just not on it right now. I'm, I'm not on the true freshman coming in and making an impact statement from Nebraska. Uh, they bring in two transfer receivers, uh, Jamal Banks. If that's if I'm correct, it's from Wake Forest and uh, Isaiah Nayor from uh, Texas. Two big, tall mm-hmm. receivers who could help out this offense, but that's only two guys on yeah. that offense. And I'm not, and I'm just not saying a lot of, the, of this offense from last year. O line was horrendous. Uh, they couldn't run the ball. The team last year threw for a total of 1,631 yards. The team and ran for 2,000. They were a better running team, obviously, but they could not sit in the pocket and throw. They threw 16 interceptions to the team, sacked 30 times. The offense was just lackluster for them last year. I, yeah. I was disappointed with with the performance out of the whole entire team, and you know, just games they feel like they they should have been in, you know, and kind of had a chance to win. They just poor performances. That's just the truth. I mean, uh, you lost to Colorado, you lost to Minnesota thirteen ten beginning of the year off. You get blown out by Michigan starting off conference or uh, second conference game of the year, and then you get beat by Illinois or you beat Illinois. You beat Northwestern, you beat Purdue, you start a little win streak, you start to feel good. And you get beat by Michigan State, Maryland, Wisconsin in overtime, and Iowa. The yeah. whole entire year was just a disappointment. I think they're better than last year. I think they can perform better. I think they're better than five and seven. I don't think they're over, they're not an eight win team this year. I just don't think they're they're there yet. Dylan Riola, we have yet to see what he can t- technically do right now. I like the ability of him to bring in help bring in some big time prospects for this team and maybe get better in the future and build a roster. Mm-hmm. But I'm just not sure that year two of Matt Rule, if I'm correct, year two, right? Yeah, year two of yeah. Matt Rule is going to win eight games for Nebraska and put this team, you know, in in top twenty five, you know, potential, potentially. Uh, a bowl game. They got to get to a bowl game. Um uh, Dr. Bob hits the nail on the head here. You know, uh, the first seven games are imminent, imminently winnable. The last time, I think if all things hit right, they could be seven and zero going into UCLA. Like when you look at this, uh, or going in going into Ohio State. I'm sorry. So you could beat UTEP, Colorado, Northern Iowa, Illinois, Purdue, Rutgers, Indiana. That's seven and zero going into Columbus. Um, I mean, that's that's that's. I don't know. I, I think that if things hit right, but like you said, Ralph. I mean. The offense has got to be better. And this is kind of the same tune we were talking about with Penn State. Like, they don't have a veteran quarterback. Raul is going to have to be the guy. But this defense was top five of the Big Ten last year. They were top uh, 15 nationally. It was a good defense. They just couldn't move the ball and score. They could not um, capitalize on when their defense played well. If that shifts, if the offense can get to at least top 60, top 70, I could see seven wins. But when you start talking about eight wins – Look, even if you go seven and zero, you got to find a way to go beat one of Ohio State, UCLA, USC, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Now, if that's you score twelve if, points, you're going to beat Iowa. And that's that, you, that's, so you're asking them. That's what I'm saying. You're asking them to be perfect up until you get to that five game stretch. That's a uh, lot. That's a lot for a true freshman quarterback. Yeah, and, and not just a true freshman quarterback. A true freshman quarterback that's only had a few months to get used to these new guys. You're not talking about a guy who's played with them for a year or two. How about a guy who was just who was who was on campus in, in January, and these guys got here and I don't know if I'm getting this incorrect here, they enrolled in uh, one enrolled Jan or June 28th. Uh, you got guys who enrolled uh, back in January with them, but you know most of the guys are you know spring transfers. So it's just I'm not I'm not sold on them on them this year. Now I could be wrong, and he could be really good this year and be and be electric. Who knows? But I'm just not fully sold on, on Ryola coming in and being absolutely perfect with this off- offensive line, not really having a, a solid running room and everything else. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to, I'm going under, I think they hit seven wins. I just don't see eight. 
Yeah, I think they got to make a bowl game. If you don't make a bowl game, rules in the hot seat. I think. Yeah, I see a lot of. What do you say? I, I look. I look at the schedule. Yeah, if you don't win, well, sorry, bro. If you don't win six no. games with this schedule, okay, you I think see. you're on the you're on the hot seat. Not that you're gonna be fired, but the pressure's on in year three. Anyways, right. I look at that schedule. And I look at this depth chart. I, I, I have a lot of questions. They brought in three. They took three high school quarterbacks. That's to me a, a very different big concern. <laughs> that's a, that's a concern. Uh, not too many programs are taking three quarterbacks. Uh, two Jamal Banks, Isaiah and they are two transfer wide receivers that will probably really help, um, help that group out. But I, I agree with both y'all. I mean, they kind of have to start seven and zero if if they're not going to be a disappointment. And I, I mean, I, I think Colorado they they could lose. Yeah, I mean. Illinois, Purdue, Rutgers, Colorado, though they those are not you can't pencil those games in. I mean, you can't mail them in. Because you know Colorado's gonna score. Can Nebraska score with them and playing them week two? That's asking a lot. We because UTEP, you're not gonna learn much playing UTEP. You you'll no. you'll learn a lot after playing Colorado. Yeah. Will um, didn't learn a lot playing UTEP in his Auburn dynasty. Um I haven't after, didn't lose after that. To add in the Will's comment, man, they got about taking three high school quarterbacks this past year. They also have a commit right now from a four star quarterback in this class going in. Yeah, someone's leaving. I'm just going to tell you that. No, and, and you kind of go with Nebraska in this sense of like, Will hit the nail on the head when he said, You could lose to Colorado. Like, if, if, if Dylan, unless Dylan Riola is just one of those guys as a freshman, he's mm-hmm. going to have his up and downs. And so, you know, Colorado's going to score. Like, whether you like Colorado and everything they do, they're going to score. And they're going to put up 30, 40 points against you, potentially. Can you keep up with them and not make as many mistakes? I just don't know. And so I, I'm with you on this. I, I might I might hammer the under here, too. I, I just don't – I think the defense is going to be good. But, you know, uh, Rule's going to bring in – he brings in Glenn Thomas. Um, it's a guy he worked with both at Temple and Baylor to be the quarterback's coach and a co-offensive coordinator with Marcus Satterfield. So we'll see if that helps. Um, but, man, I, outside of that, I'm just not really sure. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't feel confident. And like you said, Ralph, as we kind of wrap this one up, I don't feel confident that they can go 7-0 because – that's if they go seven and zero, oh, Matt Rule is going to be in line for the Big Ten Coach of the Year, at, at, going going Absolutely. into Week Eight. And Dylan Ryle is up for the Heisman. I mean, I mean, I'm not you know, they have to be. I mean, honestly, you have to be perfect. You you cannot have mistakes in that first seven games if you want to have eight wins. Because yeah. if you lose to a team like Rutgers, and or as Will said earlier, the Giant Killers Purdue, because you're at Purdue. It's so 12 o'clock kickoff. Purdue's but still, awful, but yes. But Purdue isn't can, Jeff Brown Purdue. No, but still, hey, <laughs> Purdue is just – they're good at what they do. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Purdue had no no right beating Ohio State that one year and then had to beat the brakes off them, okay, <laughs> on a Thursday night. So, Blackout there in uh, – That was, that in was the uh, the uh, unveiling of Rondell Moore and how great he really was in college. Dude, was unbelievable. College freak. <laughs> Um, I like it though. Are we all, do we all consensus? And Dr. Bob says Rutgers, uh, look right there. We got a couple questions, Ralph. I know, uh, I want to get to John Burns's question about that, uh, nine win Georgia team. We'll, we'll do that at the end of the show. I mean, that's a pretty standard answer. I feel like if you look at that, um, so Ralph's disappointment, he says Nebraska under seven and a half wins. Interesting. All right. Well, we move on to our third and final one before we get to some, we'll call them. (laughs) I love yeah. I love this. I, I love I love your, uh, your the, the paycheck's done. The the the, the purple go shirt's ahead. gone. Well, let's just go ahead and do it. Okay. Let them have it, y'all. <laughs> 